What's up guys? Unfortunately, I do not have the sir on today. Uh, we're just on the normal uh, electric mountain bike. Um, the sir on I was riding yesterday and the back tire just went flat and so I had to call someone to pick me up and yeah, so the, I'm getting a new tire put on it today. So we'll have the, the Dunlap uh, Geomax on the back. So hopefully that will last a lot longer and will grip corners a lot better too. So today I'm just gonna go ahead and ride this around, um, maybe get a little bit of a uh, range on it, range test on it. It's the E Ahura. Um, AM100, so it's pretty much the basic version of it. I think it's 300 watt motor in the back. Um, it's supposed to, with pedal assist, get like 80 miles, so it's pretty crazy um, the claims they make. So we'll we'll see. We'll we'll have to go at least you know 20, 30 miles and see how far we can push it. Maybe maybe we'll go the full way. We'll have to see. Um, but anyways. I thought this display is pretty cool. And then put it, so it's one, two, and three. We'll go ahead and just put it in two, put it in the middle. I'm gonna do pedal assist. Um, so far, I've gone like 0.6 miles, call it half a mile, and we're still at 100%. So I guess that's looking good. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Awesome, okay, here we go. And it's cool that it tells you not only the speed, but actual watt usage. Um, so you can understand, you know, how much battery am I using on this hill, and it's not just a guessing game, you can actually see how much you're draining the battery. Um, and one thing that's pretty cool is once you get up to speed, let me show you this, so right now, we're, it's uh, showing that we're using about 300 watts. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to zero and then coast, and you'll see it go negative, negative 90 watts. That's the regenerative braking. It actually shows you how much um, regen you're getting as well. And that's, that's one of the reasons why they claim you get so much um, range on this thing uh is because of that regen they say that it's 60 percent efficient so for every mile in regen you go you know 0.6 miles uh extra on the battery so i guess we'll see because there's some big hills that we're going to be going down one thing that's pretty nice is even if you're not in the battery like right now it's in zero so it's not even using any pedal assist or or any throttle and it's still pretty smooth if you're out for some reason the battery stops working you're not gonna have any problem I mean it's not gonna be as comfortable but you're not gonna be stranded This is a steep hill. This thing is gliding up it. If you're wondering why I'm wearing these big ass gloves, it's because we're in Washington right now and it's starting to get cold. So, and wet. It was just raining less than an hour ago. And then the sun comes out. And then it'll start pouring rain again. That's Washington weather. Two hundred and ninety four watts to 260 it's flickering back and forth but that's a steep hill and I'm not even like out of breath so the 
Still says 100%. Not sure how accurate that is. We'll see. So we've gone over a mile. One thing about this bike is I did not see any reviews on it. So hopefully for those of you that have questions on it, we'll get those answered. As well as if you have any questions on the uh, Segway X160, which is the same thing as a Suron electric dirt bike. make a video later today getting that back tire put on put back on with the new Dunlop Geomax that'll be nice These gloves are pretty nice. I just got them uh, at Cycle Gear. Normally they're like 170 or something. They're on sale for $59. So I'll put a link down in the description. Ooh. But they're electric. They last for like eight hours on the lowest setting. But the lowest setting is hot already. That's all you need. Um, yeah, eight hours, so I love it. Check out Martha Lake here. Ugh, almost ran over a tampon. Didn't look like it was used, but that is disgusting. We'll see. This hill is definitely going to do something. Okay, it says 95. Now I am pedaling, but it's pedal assist is definitely making it so it's it's not hard. Okay, 95. 4.3 miles, 95 percent. Then when I stop pedaling, it goes back up to 100. My guess is it's 95. Even though it's going back to 100, it's definitely not 100. <laughs> After four and a half miles. All right, guys, 89%, 88%. So now we're starting to see some battery dippage. 7.1 miles. 
We'll keep it going. Right now we're going uphill, so. Not super steep, but still uphill. 283 watts, 250 watts. I like that it does tell you how much battery you're using. And you can see it's a pretty accurate because when you go through the gears, you'll see it change. So you can see it's not lying. Alright guys, we are 8.8 .8 miles, 83%. I had to take off my gloves because they were getting warm. They'll definitely be nice for like snowboarding and when it gets super, super cold, but it's just like, it's getting cold. So it's not... Those are pretty heavy duty for right now. Still at 86, 87 percent, 9.3 miles. What's crazy is I was going to just use pedal assist, but I have like on several occasions given it only throttle and just goes to show you, I'm thinking that uh, that 50 mile range is going to be pretty accurate. We'll see. Uh, 80, okay, it went back up. 80, okay, 87, 85. It's going, it hit like 90 something again, so. That's pretty good. Hopefully later today I'll have a video made for the 
start on in the new rear tire. So hopefully I can have it posted in the next couple days. Have it, have the videos done today or tomorrow. Washington is weird because it'll look <laughs> super warm, but it is absolutely cold. It's the biggest lie. And the days that it's clear and blue skies towards the end of the summer is definitely coldest. Oh no, trail closed. Oh no, detour, all right. We have to go through the neighborhood and then cut around somehow, all right. Not too far. That's one thing is if you're not used to putting it in zero, it's gonna be a lot harder to get those long ranges. Cause it's not gonna give you that regen. <laughs> those pigeons. Once you get down to flat, bump the pedal assist or the throttle back up. I've been sticking with level two because it's it's perfect. Oh, there you go this way. We're at 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. It keeps going up. Every time I stop using it, it goes back up. But anyway, we have gone 11.3 miles and still have a lot of battery left.
always interesting stuff. All right, we're at, I don't know whether I should go off of the percentage once it's done going up or the percentage once I'm using it. But anyways, the percentage when I'm using it, it's like 75 to 80. Dipping, but That is loud. Oof. Now it's back up to like eighty four percent, eighty five percent. Then you start using it, it goes back down, so. We will see 12.5 miles so far. Ooh, this big hill is probably going to take some of that battery. We'll see. Oh, squirrel. This is a dangerous one. <laughs>
All right, guys. We are at 60%, 18.6 miles. Whoa. Okay, take that back. That's at 70%. Keeps not wanting to make up its mind. <laughs> But this thing has been awesome. Like I'm almost just getting like tired of riding it versus the battery actually running out, which is nice to have. A nice problem to have. Ooh, caterpillar. All right, guys, we're at ooh, 68%. Keeps fluctuating, 70%. And we've gone 19.4 miles. So. This thing definitely, in my opinion, can reach at least 50 miles. And the thing is, I was using it uphill i was using it with throttle only at certain parts so this definitely wasn't you know staying in second mode the whole time just being as battery conscious as possible this has been a real world test for sure
you guys can see this, but 20.5 miles, 70%. Alright guys, keep it going. This thing is insane. The range on this thing. Unlimited. Definitely need to get <laughs> mud guard. Oh, straight water to the face. be very wet but get a little something something gotta go backwards oh it's wet check the course up but it is yeah it's gonna be nice later today or tomorrow but yeah there's puddles in the whoops some wet whoops huh Ah, uh, it's pretty wet. <laughs> This will be no problem for the Geo Max tires. Once we go pick them up later today, that'll be nice. Oh my gosh. You guys remember like science in elementary school with the sand? You saw how water eroded. Instant ruts. I love this thing with the surround, you can get huge air and rip. track is meant for the Suron, I swear. <laughs> they built it just for the Suron. No, I wish. It is going to be interesting to see though how uh, and if they start to develop you know like MX tracks for electric you know or 
trails for electric or how that's going to work because it's so new but it's growing so fast that it's kind of something that's pretty important. What do you guys think? Do you guys think electric vehicles should be allowed on all the same roads or or no? And why? So hopefully, once we get back, not too long until Cycle Gear in Linwood has the tire ready to go for the for the Suron, the Segway X160. That will be fun. Do a video on that today. Uh, someone commented said they want to see a range test, and that is absolutely going to get done soon. Um, if not today, then definitely I'm going to start filming the next couple days and have it out have it out within a week so keep your eye open for that it's definitely not 40 miles I'll tell you that right now but definitely thinking about upgrading the controller and the battery on it so that it goes well beyond 40 miles range and a lot faster but with the Eora, e I don't know how to pronounce it, that we're on right now, at 30, about 40%, it's gone 21 miles. So, I don't know. Seems like the battery kind of started to, to eat up a lot faster towards the end than it did the whole time. I have also been using the throttle the last couple hundred yards. <laughs> oh, I'm, and I'm in mode three. Okay, there we go, 50. It's already starting to go up. So yeah, this thing, in my opinion, could definitely go 50 miles, at least. I'm in mode three, so if you put it in mode one, which has the automatic regen, it might be a little more. Okay, the controversy with the regen, is that if the amount of energy return you're getting for say 100 yards say it's 60 percent energy which is this right they're saying is that 60 percent return even worth the amount of energy needed to because the region slows you down is that energy even enough to offset the amount of energy to get you back up to speed at the speed you were you know say you get out of 100 yards I'm just making up a number 300 kilowatts right the whole time for 100 yards well is it gonna cost you know it take 400 kilowatts to get you back up to that speed and take you know the same amount of energy if not more so that's why I believe a lot of people are skeptics of the regen so in my opinion it all depends on on where you're at the fact that you can turn off the regen on this by you know say you're going down a super steep hill and you want that regen you can click it into one or zero and it's going to give it to you like that but say you're like constant you know up and down and you don't want to you don't feel like the amount of energy needed to get back up the hill that you just went down is going to be worth it you can just put it in, you know, two, and you won't get any region. So you can just coast, and hopefully use that momentum to get you a lot further than the region would have given you. So we're at fifty percent. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the review here, just because. I am freaking tired and this thing is too much, too much range. <laughs> this is insane. For $1,500, the fact that it is, yeah, 55, it's going up. 
still over 50% battery almost 22.6 miles that's crazy so <sighs> hopefully we're gonna get that tire put on later today get another video out but if there's any questions with the e Ohora am 100 which is the spike that you guys have let me know look at this thing going up 63 percent that's insane so you guys can see that oh, oh i actually powered it down look at that 64 22.6 insane absolutely insane and that was with again some throttle only time so appreciate the appreciate you guys watching the video let me know if you guys have any questions on it peace